Hello there watchy people, how is it going? Welcome along to We Are Here Together 2 with me and Woz. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I've currently got him on Discord because we've got this weird thing where he can hear me through the game now, but I can't hear him through the game now. So yeah. I don't know if that's a permanent issue or whether when we get going in the game um, that'll resolve itself but uh, yeah we'll find out it'll be very exciting yeah well let's hit ready anyway I'm a peasant you're a lord apparently I don't know what that means okay uh, I am ready cool let's see what happens then game starting in five seconds four okay. three two dead silence <laughs> <laughs> the key is communication not sure what to do. Try describing objects in the room in the options menu. Brilliant. Okay, are we in? Oh no, we got another Seems video. familiar. Yep. Okay, so I can no longer hear Rob. Well, I can still I'm hear him. I'm guessing he can still hear me. <laughs> I can, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Yeah, I can uh... hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We're blinded by the snow. Blinded by the snow. I don't know how I'm alive, by the way, given that you abandoned me at the end of the last game. You must have found a way out. There was a secret yeah. tunnel. I came back for you. Let's go with that story. I didn't know I was abandoning you. There's a nice <laughs> red orb. Okay. We okay. found our way in. We have. Hopefully we'll be a bit quicker on the uptake on the puzzles on this one, because we were, we were like... Appallingly bad. We were in the last one. Oh, I don't know what 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 game you were watching. I was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Move the horsey. Oh, there we go. The horsey Separate moves rooms. in an L shape. Um, in an L shape. Not that horsey. The other horsey. <laughs> the other white horsey. Oh, Man, dear. this is is not this. meant for running in this resolution, is it? <laughs> no. I mean, it is blocky as anything. We'll go with stylized, shall we? <laughs> yeah. It's it's the style. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I don't think we meant... Okay. Right, let's see if this no. works now. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Say again, I missed that. No. I... No, I cannot hear you. There is a problem. We have technical de difficulties. We have technical difficulties. Let's pause the recording and figure this out. One eternity later. Okay, so we are back. Um, yeah, didn't get it working, basically. Managed to find online that more or less nobody's got it working. So instead we are going to be using Discord, uh, which is a bit yep. of a shame, but, you know, doesn't matter. No. Uh, should still be the same thing. Right. Should be. I best describe to you what I'm seeing. Uh, Absolutely. I am in a room very similar to the rooms in the previous game. Yeah. Uh, stonework and stuff. Lots of candles. There is uh, a raised portion with a like an altar. And it's yep. got okay. So we got a three three digit code with different symbols on. Okay. I am <coughs> hunting around the room. I've got a stone room as well with various statues and okay. coffins around the place. Which I can't do anything with. I also have a uh, a lever on the side so I can presumably activate it when we put the code in. Okay. I have two doors that are locked. Ah, hold on. There are symbols above each of these. You want to call them altars, I suppose. Okay. Same symbols. As we had in the previous game. Yeah, yeah, these look vaguely similar. Yeah, so I've got one with a cat with no legs. Okay. One with a house that shouts, or a face that's shouting at you with square eyes and square mouth. So, start from the got? left, you've got a cat yep. with no legs. Yep. Does the. What shape is the head? It's a uh, diamond. Okay. Two triangular ears and arms. Raised. Stick cat. Okay, I don't think I have that one. I've got like. So the head is not complete. It doesn't have any triangular ears or anything. 
Okay. It's diamond, but the top part of the diamond is missing. Right. Let me hunt around and see if I can see anything that matches that description. I mean, it's probably not that one. It probably just means it's a different one, but I'm not seeing the one yeah. that you've got. Ah, there we go. So I've got one with an open diamond at the top and no ears. Yes, that one. Okay. So that's now one what? of them. Does yeah. that go first? I don't know. I think Underneath it... this thing is a coffin for me, which I can't seem to do anything with. Yeah, I've got a coffin as well. With a bloody handprint on it, which is nice. I have got no such handprint. So if yeah. I click on the symbol, it, it makes it big, but I can't do anything other than that. Okay, but basically you should have three symbols, and hopefully in a, a particular order. Well, I, I don't know about the order. They're just in various places in this room. Okay, well, you've got an order. No, I don't, because th they could be in any order. Okay. So, if you go to where you were starting from, which one is on the left? Yep. So, my immediate left is the full cat with no legs. Okay. Uh... Then across from that is a face, or a house, a square house with square eyes and a square mouth. Square house, square eyes, square mouth. Yep, I've got that. Uh, so what's the third symbol you've got? Uh, in this room, none. So you've only got if two I symbols? Go down, if I go downstairs, there's a room with four, four symbols. Oh, blimey. I don't know how we're supposed to decide which ones they are then. Then have another look in that room, see if there is a third symbol. Oh, have you got a coffin? Just trying to see. No, that's all the same. Have you got a coffin in the one with a cat with no head? Oh, uh, with an open head. Because some of mine don't have coffins, and some do. Right. Okay, my. There, there's nothing else in the symbol at all. Yeah, yeah, but underneath it, do you have a coffin? No, there, there is one coffin in the room beside the altar, to the left of the altar. Okay. Or whatever this is. Oh, so no, I'm hang on. Saying... There is a second coffin and a third coffin. Okay, but they're behind it. I don't think they're relevant. I think they're just decoration. Okay. The only reason I ask is... Oh, what's in there? Ah, I found something. Okay. So in the grate... On the floor, if you look at the right angle, there's three lit up symbols that are red. Ah, okay, what are they? Uh, one is. Uh, one is a stick man with a round head and then what looks like a tucker shape on his. on the top of his head. Stick man with a round shape. So. It looks like a round circle, but the top of the circle isn't complete, and then he could be wearing a hat of some sort, but like a flat hat. Oh, so the circle, could they be arms? It could be arms, but the top bit is flat. So he's got like half a head Yeah. with his arms like on his cheeks, touching his cheeks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. So that's the first one, is it? Yeah. Okay, got that one. What's the second one? The next one is the phallic with a half cross with the cross bit going to the right. Yep, got that one. What's the third one? The third one is a man with a cross in its head with a curly bit going round to the right. Looks like he's lying on a chaise lounge or something. Oh, the, yeah, you called that a goal, goal post in the last game. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I've got that. Right, it, so I'll now do that. Oh, a door has opened for me. Okay, nothing has opened for me. Okay, I've arrived at a book which shows three coffins. In these coffins, my three beautiful children lay forever to rest. My biggest fear is that my remaining two daughters will join them soon. There's uh, heavenly lands after the death of her. Voldemort loved her. Uh, the only escapes from her. I don't know if this is relevant. It might just be part of the story. <sighs> What else is in? Oh, there's a lever, a flashing lever in here. Okay, pull that Hold lever. It. 
Nothing seems to have happened over here. But for me, nothing has happened. Okay. Um, Let's check the starting area again. Nothing in there. Let's see if there's anything else that's changed. Intriguing. Down here. Can I open? Nothing. Door is locked. Okay. Pulled the handle. What did the handle do? I can't open the coffins. Can I do anything else with this lever? If I pull it again... Oh, it doesn't let me pull it again. It's so on. Mine scrambled the symbols. Okay. I don't know if that means we can do more with it or... Or what? Well, if I look back at the symbols, they're still the same. Okay. It Unless was... there's another area in here. That dude, then... That dude, then... That dude. Is there anything in here that indicates? So it's showing me three different symbols. I wonder if that's anything for you to do. Maybe. Could it be relating to the three coffins? Could be. Is there anything on the coffin you can do, interact with? No. I've got yeah. symbols on the... Is it just the ones with coffins that have symbols? No. There's some without coffins. So I've got three coffins in here. One of them is an hourglass. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think this is it. You need to give me those new ones. Is there an order for them? No, they're just... It's just the ones with coffins. Well, it's not just the ones with coffins. The one with coffins have symbols on them. But All right. Most... Well, tell me what the symbols are. I've, I found an hourglass type symbol. Yeah, there's one with a cat with no bottom legs. Uh... Triangle head. Yeah, that doesn't exist on... Oh, a triangle head. Yeah. Triangle head, triangle ears. Hmm... Got diamond, diamond head, sorry. Oh, diamond head. Yeah, I've got that. And I then don't... there's one with the hourglass. Uh, I don't have... Oh, yeah, I do have the hourglass. I don't know it's what... It's sort of just a triangle at the bottom and then an hourglass at the top. And then the last one is the cat with a diamond head with incomplete at the top. Right. Um... But I don't know... So this seems to be in a different order. So I've, I've got them there. Let's try that. Ah, oh. that worked. My door's open. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so they were just in a, a random order. That was a bit weird. Yeah. Checkpoint okay, reached, yeah. anyway. Amazing. I'm now in a, in a room. Okay, there's a, there's a book here books. that I could probably... Ah, yeah, I can read. I've never been as happy in my life than the moment I met you. I am honoured to receive your love in exchange. I wish I could be with you forever. And the promise of your eternal love is very thrilling, but the sacrifice is too great. I cannot let you get through, go through with this, get through with this. Uh, I cannot let you destroy, it's still spelt badly, the strong, pure heart of yours. I hope you would understand the things I have done to keep you from making this big mistake. <coughs> I want you to remember me as I was on that summer night in the Rose Gardens. I want you to remember I will always love you, and I want you to remember I will always be with you, even when I am not in this earthly world anymore. Love you forever. Now, there's a torn bit out of the corner. Yeah. Well, I've got a book in front of me with one, two, th three, four, five, six candles. It says, my love for you burns with the intensity of a thousand suns. Your beauty shines at bright night light at the end of the lights of the something stairs and at the colorful I can't even read this notes in our garden love you forever be and each candle's got a number on it okay so something to do with the rose garden the, like I say it's a bit torn out of this and the bit it's revealing like a sketch of maybe a bear or a wolf something right. furry of that nature uh, okay, so I've got like a pentagram style area here. 
Okay. And I've got red and blue charts with symbols in. Oh, I've got a blue, uh, whatever, not flag, whatever you call them, tapestry with yes symbol on it. Okay. So, yeah, I've got lots, lots of diamond shapes. The big one in the middle is missing. Yeah. Uh, and I've got four empty ones along the bottom. All the others have symbols in. Okay, I'm trying to see. I've only got one blue tapestry. Okay, I here. can't get to that yet. There's another book here, but I don't seem to be able to interact with it. Uh, I think that was the only blue one. Can I, go can I light candles or anything? Yes, I can. Oh, do you need to light them in an order? Ah, uh, yes, you you possibly do. Okay. Have you got six candles in a circle? Yes. Okay, so the bottom middle one is number one. Okay, hang on. Uh, bottom middle, I think, is that one, yep. Then the one to the left of it is number two. Okay. Then diagonally across is number three. Yep. Yeah. Then down from number three is number four. Yeah. Then diagonally is number five. A diagonal across from that. Up. And then the top one. It's number six. Okay. Oh. Right. I now have um, glowing oh. symbols. I have a red tapestry and a blue tapestry, and the symbols on it appear to be shiny. Yes. All okay. of them, or? Uh, I only have one of each. Yeah. So I've got. A, a squiggly line on the blue one. Let me look at the blue one first. So it's it's a horizontal line, and the left hand end goes up a little bit, and the right hand end goes down a little bit. Okay, mine is a little bloke with triangle hands, holding them above his head, and a tail with a triangle on it. Huh. It looks like he's leaping in the air with his legs. Ah, okay. I think what we need to do... Right, I need to add things in. Right. So, describe him again. So, he's got triangle hands that he's holding above his head. He's right. got a circle for a head, and there's a red... Uh, sorry, there's a dot in the middle of his head. Okay. Then what? Then, going to his legs, they sort of looks imagine him jumping in the air but his legs are turned in opposite directions the opposite from each other so one's up and one's down the left is up and the right is down uh okay i don't i don't know how to do that here did you say a uh, triangle um, hands we've done that one haven't we triangle yeah. hands yeah okay and then so the tail is flicking around to the right or the triangle on the end of it okay uh Oh, it won't let me do any more. So that might be the wrong order to do it in. Okay. Right. I don't know so... how you determine that order. Let's try that. Does that work? <laughs> what am I, I missing? Happens. What have you got? So I've got, um, this is really hard to describe. Okay, so his arm, like the arms are in the air with triangles above his head. Yep. Uh, his head is round with a dot in it. Does the dot have, is the dot solid? Yes. Okay. Uh, then below that, I'm guessing are what you call legs. One, the one to the left goes up, the one to the right goes down. Yep. And then rush and a backslash. Yeah. Actually, no, they're both. They're both, yeah, they're both the same slash, but just yeah. Yeah, and then yep. the tail comes off with a triangle on the end. Correct. So that's everything, is it? Yeah. All right. What about the red one? Let's do the red one now. Okay, heading to the red. So I've got a circle with a, an X in it at the moment at the bottom. Okay. So going up from that is a straight line up. Yeah. And then, uh, say a quarter of the way up, 
there's a line that intersects that so it goes across and it's got like the one end of it is an E, the right hand side is an E, and the left hand side is a backwards E. Uh E. So you need curves to make that E. So the line itself oh. makes the middle of the E. Okay, yep. yeah, I've got that. Uh there's something else before that though. So uh, we're looking that. at the torso. I've got um yeah, before I can get to that I have to go to another one. Okay. So I've either got a vertical line with a big U that intersects it. Yes, uh, that's it. Oh, okay. Oh, that still and then doesn't the get that. The top of the U is is uh two circles. That are not filled in. Uh hang on. Hang on, does the U oh. have a line going up through the middle of it or Yes it, it does. does, yeah. So it is that one. So the next thing has to be that. Is, are there two more lines? Under, underneath, underneath the U, there are two more lines going okay. across. One's long and one's short. Yeah, perfect. Right, then you say you've got two circles on the U. Yes, that are not filled in. Okay. That are not filled in. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, hang on. That one. That one. That one. Ooh, this is tense, folks. Two circles that are not filled in. Yeah. That one. Okay, that's not working. What are we missing? So start from the top. Start from the circles. Well, I, I can't because I have to do this in a particular order. No, but I mean, describe to me what you have. Okay, so from the very top, at the moment, yeah. I don't have the circles because I can't okay. get to them from here. But right, I've got... um. A U with yep. with the vertical line in the middle of it. Then How high does that line go? It or goes. One that does that? It's not quite as high as the two sides. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Then I've got a, a long horizontal line, a short horizontal line. That are in between the E's. It doesn't. It doesn't extend past them, is what I'm saying. No, no, yeah, in between the E's. Yep. Then I've got yep. the line with the E's on. Yep. And then at the bottom, I've got a circle with an X in it. Correct. So the only thing I'm missing is that um, the the circles on the tops of the U. I can't see how to get to them. That I cannot tell you. Maybe. Oh, okay. I see what I've got to do. Yeah. Is it a slidey puzzle? No. There we go. I've done it. Nice. Wow. Ooh. The middle Something's of my room happening. has just caught fire. Oh. That's, oh, uh... I've got... Okay, in the centre of my room, I've got a, like a... I don't know what you want to call it. A star. A shrine. Um, okay. On the floor is like... Drawn symbols. Okay. That, oh. That are glowing. Okay. Um, yeah, I... I can sort of see symbols on there. They're so faint, though. So, can yeah. you tell me which ones are glowing? All of them. <laughs> oh, all of them. Okay. So I can I can interact with the stones around this. Does something happen when I click one? Uh, not that I can tell. Well, on the on the floor, oh, I've can... got I've got three triangles that are. I don't even know how to describe this. It looks like the three triangles that are complete. So imagine a, a pie graph. Yeah. So three of the triangles are done. These are just lines. They're not filled in. Right. There are two lines that aren't, and the, the tops of one, two, three, four, five aren't complete. So there are three triangles that are complete, and there are one, two, three, yeah, three, four, five that aren't. Okay, that and they doesn't all have symbols at various points. Right, and this what are the symbols? So I've got the one is like a lightning cloud. Lightning cloud. I've it's got like got a... a lightning symbol under it with it doesn't it's spiky cloud. Yeah, I've got like um like an eye shape with a spike through it. Uh... <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, I found the spiky cloud. Yeah. So I can turn that on. That glows now. Yeah. What other symbols have you got? 
Next to that, I've got uh, two triangles with the points facing, they intersect each other, so they're together. Two triangles. And they're going from left to right, so they're on this side, essentially. Um, so I've got, I've got one where they've got no points, so it's like a bow tie shape. Yeah, bow tie. Okay, do that one. All right, what's next? That's drawn a line between and, those two. Okay, and then next I've got an X with a line through it that looks like it's about to explode in the middle. X with a line through it. The line's going from left to right, and then it is got, it short. Got, yeah. Okay. Right. Yep, yeah, done that one. And then I've got the I with the line going from top to bottom through it. Okay, that's that one. Okay. I'm just going around. I don't know if these are right or not. Uh, then I've got two X's that are joined at top and bottom. Which form a diamond in the middle. Yeah. Then what? Then I have no idea how to describe this shape. Uh, I want to say, is it a trapezoid? I don't know. I can't remember. So it's... Take oh. a take a rectangle. Yeah. Take the middle of the uh, rectangle. The, the the long edges. The long edges and squash them slightly so it looks like okay. a fat boat. Okay. I've I've made a mistake because that's a different shape, right? Uh, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna have to start this over. I'm afraid. Sorry. That's fine. So what's the first one? The cloud with the lightning. The cloud with the lightning. Yep. Okay. Then what was it? Then the bow tie. Bow tie. Okay, so that's not that one. It is that one. Yeah. Much more defined bow tie. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's the X with the line across it. Oh, okay. So I'm just going round in a circle, basically. Then the. Oh, that's see. This is the thing. I don't know if that's right. I'm yeah, just reading you my right. symbols. Okay. Yeah. Then it's the line with the eye. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's the two X's. Yep. Then it's the the weird shape. Yep. And then it's uh, like two X's with two diamonds. Or an X yep. with two diamonds. Yep. Then it's... Alright. Cross with a diamond on the bottom of it. Okay, so that so... hasn't done anything. No. So that's obviously so... not the right order. <laughs> so how do we know? So two shapes... Each of the two shapes have a diamond beneath them, like the big diamond that's drawn on the floor. Right. So I don't know if that means anything. And there are three of those diamonds. Remember the diamond pattern I was telling you that's incomplete on the floor. If it's incomplete, maybe we, we have I have to copy that because I've got like a complete one. And as I use these symbols, I draw lines between different parts of it. Okay. So I can probably copy your shape. Okay. Or do we have to draw a specific shape? I don't know. Oh, have you not got a shape there? Well, I've got three diamonds in a shape. Uh... But I don't know. <laughs> this is so difficult. <laughs> this is difficult. Man. There's no, is there any reference point of what we've got to... I, yeah, I don't see anything in this room. Because I could just tell you, okay, draw from diamond to diamond to make the three diamonds. Or make this shape. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's let's try this. Oh. Start with the X with the two diamonds in the side, either side of it. Yeah. Then go all the way to the X with the line through it. Opposite. So it the opposite. Yep. Yeah. Done that. Then go across to the left with the bow tie. The actual bow tie or the squish? yeah, the proper bow tie. Uh, okay, yeah. That should be yeah, and then go straight down opposite to the fatter bow tie. Yeah. Then go left to the two X's. Yeah. Then go opposite to the cloud with the lightning bolt. Yeah. Then go across left to the diamond with the X below the X. Diamond below the X. Yeah. Yep. And then go directly opposite that to the eye with a line through it. Ah. 
Yeah, that did something. Oh, nice. Which way did Blimey. I come in? That okay, I think the door is opened <laughs> up top. Yep. Me. That Amazing. was a complete guess, folks. <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Um, that, however, I think is a great place to end the episode. It so, is indeed. Uh, let's let's do that, and we will move on next time to the next room. So, thank you very much for watching, people. <laughs> appreciate oh, you guys, man. That yeah. was brain taxing. As as we was really the appreciate thing. you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for sticking with us. If you have done. Um, let us know in the comments. Comment on both our videos. Um, put in the word pentagram because I know that's not what that was, but put that in yep. your comment and then we know you've watched to the end. Um, but yeah, we will see you guys next <laughs> time. Please go check out Was's channel um, where you can see the other half of this. ASQ was. Um, and yeah, we'll see you uh, in the next one. <laughs> see you later. Bye. <laughs>